uh, I'll not say like it's that tough, but uh, it's not that direct as well. So if like somebody is changing the field and uh, somebody is like coming from any other branch and wanted to make a career in IT, it's not like uh, that direct. Also, you have to find your own path and you have to go through the right skill set. What you have to, explore. and then finally, I decided to explore outside. So when I was exploring, I got multiple offers, but at the end, I chose SAP uh, out of it. Somebody like uh, who's okay. looking for uh, in a data science role uh, from the very starting, uh, from the learning perspective, uh, I'd say uh, he should definitely start with Python. Hey everyone, welcome Dipanchu, who is data scientist at SAP. Today he is with us to guide about how to switch from service-based companies to product-based companies, how you can start your career as a data scientist, and uh, the most important question, will AI take our job? He is also very famous on Instagram, having 37,000 followers. He regularly posts about tech strategies and career, so make sure you follow him on Insta also. So let's start the video with his introduction. Yeah. Hi, Upasna. So as you mentioned, like uh, I'm currently working as a data scientist uh, at SAP. Uh, previous to this, I have worked with uh, TCS and uh, like I have total five years of experience. Okay, Dipanchu. So coming back to your college days from MAE to ML, how was your journey and was it very tough for a mechanical student to go into ML part? Uh, I'll not say like it's that tough, but uh, it's not that direct as well. So if like somebody is changing the field and uh, somebody is like coming from any other branch and wanted to make a career in IT, it's not like uh, that direct. Also, you have to find your own path and you have to go through the right skill sets what you have to acquire. Uh, so coming to me uh, when I was in my BTEC, so starting my I had no plan that I had to make a career in IT. But I was like uh, in the BTEC, I like to explore uh, what are the things are there. So I have four years of so I mechanical bhi kaafi explore kiya. Uh, I checked on the designing part. I checked other things, what other uh, job profiles uh, in mechanical we have. And uh, during my initial first and second year, I had a placements of placements that in IT mein bhi placements aate hai, jo mechanical allow mechanical. So I did a C language ke course kiye the, and that's it for that time I did. So I had an idea lag gaya tha ki, haan, haan, or like the logical programming and all is about. So by the end of my like final year, I was like uh, sure like uh, what kind of jobs profile I'm looking. Or mechanical mein mera tha ki, I'm not looking that much now. So I started to pay attention to the placements. I had three companies ke offer the. Uh, that is TCS, Cognizant and Wipro. And uh, after college, uh, I decided to join TCS that time. And uh, but once I joined TCS, like this field was pretty new to me. Like, I uh, didn't know what are the technologies are about, what uh, job roles are. So I was pretty much very special into like this world. So in, I mean, when we had our training initially, so I was Java me train kiya tha. So usse thoda sa mujhe programming ka idea hua tha. And uh, then I got into my very first project in DCS. So usme, I think I'll say, but kafi kam kam tha. So usne like uh, due to that, mujhe thoda ka, uh, time mil gaya khud se explore karne ka, to check on like what are the things exist in IT and all. So us time maine explore kiya different technologies, matlab full stack uh, development, no code solutions also maine dekha. Uh, that uh, SharePoint, Salesforce, SAP. Uh, power automate all those things i was exploring that time and us uh, time python bhi start kari thi and python jab main jaise jaise aage badh raha tha i machine learning bhi aaya tha us time uh, i was following one udemy course that time uh, that python zero to hero course that was it also is ml part so in that uh, i found something like familiar thoda mechanical se mujhe relate karne laga ki ha ye industrial engineering karke ek subject hota hai uh, mechanical mein जो काफी कुछ जैसे डेटा एनालिसिस काइंड ऑफ होता है यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द ऑप्टिमल क्वांटिटीज एंड ऑल ऑल दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन तो मुझे काफी लगा कि हां इसमें थोड़ा सा बेस है मेरा एंड आई कैन एक्सप्लोर मोर इनटू इट एंड आफ्टर दिस लाइक आई डिसाइडेड टू एक्सप्लोर दिस पर्टिकुलर फील्ड एंड धीरे-धीरे मैं टीसीएस के इंटरनल पोर्टल्स का भी यूज करते-करते आई स्टार्टेड एक्सप्लोरिंग दिस एंड उसके मतलब जो टीसीएस में पोर्टल्स हैं वो काफी हैंड्स ऑन फ्रेंडली है मतलब काफी प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज उसमें मिल जाता है 
So with the help of external resources and these resources, I explored. And uh, after this, like uh, internally, I changed my uh, project to a machine learning project once I gained enough skills. And after that, I worked for two and a half years more uh, in that project. And uh, then I switched uh, up there. So what was your motivation to switch from TCS to SAP? Uh, I think to be very honest, uh, for the very first month, I felt like uh, like there was no work and uh, I don't see any kind of a growth kind of things and learning still. So I felt like uh, where I end up into and uh, that time I switch kabi nahi so sakta tha because I don't have that much skills also. I was new into IT, not aware about anything. So that time I decided to stick and uh, explore myself, all the options available. Then uh, once I gained enough skills, I changed the project internally. Uh, I got also promoted to the digital profile. Uh, so which also is a compensation revision. So with the uh, new project and this uh, uh, compensation revision, I was able to stick for two and a half years more when I was grinding my skills, all those. And then finally, I decided to explore outside. So when I was exploring, I got multiple offers, but at the end, I chose SAP uh, out of it. Okay, so what can be the roadmap from your side to the people who are in service-based companies and want to switch to product-based companies? Okay. Uh, so for somebody who is in a services company or I'd say any IT company, first thing to look for is uh, two points. Uh, that is whether you are learning anything uh, in that particular role or the, are you having uh, facing any new challenges into it or is the task repetitive? This is the first thing. Or second thing is like uh, how the, your career is growing in that. How is the compensation, the hike and all and how the promotion is all. So all these factors actually matter uh, when you're working. And somebody who is in service-based company, he should look for like uh, whether he is in his interested role. Because many people uh, end up in a where they don't have interest in working. So they should ensure that uh, they are in that particular role. If they are not in, they should work for it. Uh, like one good part about service company is you'll find uh, almost all kinds of technologies there. So from like oldest to the latest and whatever you are interested in, just Try to focus like how you can uh, get to work on that. And uh, once you are into it and then work for some time and then try to switch for a better company or a better project uh, so that you can keep progressing in your career. Okay, so as you are the data scientist and SAP, what can be the complete placement roadmap for the people who wish to be a data scientist? What resources they can use to prepare? Okay, uh, so if for somebody like uh, who's looking for uh, in a data science role uh, from the very starting, uh, from the learning perspective, uh, I'd say uh, he should definitely start with Python. Uh, I think Python is something which is the most widely used thing like uh, for any kind of data science project, you should very, very first master it. And I'll also suggest to do DSA also in Python if you're looking for a data related role. So that will help in your product based companies interviews. Now you can move towards the machine learning side once you have a foundation in this. So in machine learning, I always generally suggest uh, people to firstly check on the machine learning life cycle. So like this is something a flow like uh, uh, which are the procedures like which uh, we follow uh, for many of the, I would say most of the problems in the data science. So it starts with your data loading to data preparation, that analysis part, pre-processing, model uh, training, evaluation, then finally the deployment. So all this uh, is a life cycle, comes under the life cycle. And uh, I'll say to uh, take any projects, like you can take on the YouTube and uh, like there are very uh, like hello world kind of a project in data science, like Iris data sets, MNIST data sets. Try to follow this ML life cycle. Yadi starting with samaj nahi aada hai ki kya kya steps mein ho ra, it's fine. Uh, we have to firstly look into the broadness part. Then once you are into this flow, you understand actually 50% uh, of the ML is this only the life cycle uh, that's followed. But now uh, you can write uh, time to go into the details uh, of it. Uh, you can uh, now start with the mathematics part. This is the main foundation of machine learning. So in this, you can explore the linear algebra, statistics, probability concepts, 
So all this uh, you have to start with. This will act as your foundation. Then you can again move into the machine learning. But what I say is a classical machine learning. Uh, in this, you cover about a data preparation, pre-processing strategies, uh, how to handle null values, uh, standardize the data. So all this comes in that. And uh, you'll realize like all those things, uh, what you studied in mathematics, that like linear algebra and all, will come into play. And uh, one more interesting thing will you realize is uh, class 10th, we had uh, matrices and all. So we thought that what the application will be. But when you see here, the data science may okay, you'll see application of this in uh, almost everywhere. So that's the application of that happening here. Then I'll say move towards the uh, machine learning algorithm. Uske mathematics ko samjho, how these are working internally and uh, what's the main logic. Because if you know the mathematics, then only you'll be able to apply those in the real world problem. So this will act all as your foundations actually for the machine learning and data science. Then I'll suggest once you're done with this, move towards the deep learning. So deep learning is like a more complex and more computing thing in data science uh, that handles more complex tasks with more data, of course. So explore that. There are multiple uh, domains after this, that is computer vision, uh, natural language processing, all those things uh, it's time to explore after this. And um, finally, the generative AI. This is the very much uh, like a niche thing for data science as of now. And a lot of questions from interviews also come from this all. So explore the length chain, how to use it, how to uh, fine tune uh, large language models. So after this, like look for the ML ops side as well, because like uh, that will help you to understand about the production side of it, like how the model monitoring happens. So I'll say uh, to end up with the ML ops side and makes a lot of project, I'll say, because to get a proper hands on, you need to have projects to be there. Okay, so how was your interview experience for data science role at SAP? Okay, so from basically from my interview experience, uh, what I found like there's a common structure, like usually in any kind of data, in, data science interview that comes up. So firstly, uh, it starts with an assignment. Uh, so a data set aapko de denge, that you need to take this data set and solve a particular problem. So you have to end to end approach karna hota hai, as an ML uh, engineer or data scientist. You have to analyze all the things. You need to uh, build the models out of it and present the final results as well as a form of a presentation or something. So this actually you have to submit and based on this uh, only your next rounds are scheduled. So once you are done uh, with this assignment in the next round, that is the very first round that comes up is on this only, like whatever the assignment you have done, they ask cross questions that why you use these kinds of strategies on the, and how you thought about these strategies. So they like to check like your mindset, how you're approaching your problem. And in the first round also, uh, you, you can also expect like the coding problems. So like a data manipulation problems they can give for pandas or the, they can give SQL problems or even the DSA problems uh, in the first round itself. And this will be broadness in terms of machine learning uh, you can expect. From the second round, you can expect like it goes more deeper technically uh, for the data science people. They'll ask more uh, mathematical questions about the algorithms and their edge cases and how all, all they work in scenarios like mostly matrix question also can come up here and basically they'll go deeper inside whatever the projects you have done so after this in the from the third round you can expect kind of a managerial uh, interviews in this uh, you should expect like a case study they'll give you an open-ended problems uh, on data science and we'll check how you are approaching so you need to think on all the perspective. Here you have to ask cross questions. It's just like a coding interview. You can say like, uh, there you get a DSA problem and you have to ask cross questions. You approach the problem, like from, you approach from a simpler to a optimal solution. So same thing in the ML side, uh, we have to do. Take the problem, how you'll gather the data, how you'll approach that problem, and how you'll make the features out of it, and how you'll train the model. So all those end-to-end -end thing uh, and how you are questioning them for the business uh, scenarios. So all those things they check in this particular round. 
and after this there's like an hr round and uh, for sap i would say hr round was also like proper hr it was not a salary discussion something they ask you behavior questions and they thoroughly evaluate as an individual i said so this is how like uh, was an interview at sap okay last question is will i take our job uh, i'll say this is an interesting question uh, we'll like to take it in some uh, like perspectives so firstly if you say from like a uh, uh, i'll say negative but ai can surely take some of the jobs like you can also say like there are many repetitive jobs uh, which ai can easily handle so such jobs are actually like something kind of an automation and i'll say automation is not that something new it's already been happening and it's replacing uh, but yeah if you can say this way also that uh, ai though it's doing uh, some jobs but it has the potential to bring up some new jobs as well so like there are more, many jobs coming like for the ai side like as a prompt engineer and so on will come on uh, but in the middle part uh, what i like to say for this thing uh, is uh, regardless of how like it take jobs not the main part is this something new that is coming up we should be able to take it up and adapt to it like all these things coming up to ease our jobs and how we can focus on something more complex and solving the more easy part using these so i'll say to adapt to it and um, use it to your advantage rather than getting afraid or getting that feeling of like missing out on that okay dipanchu thank you for coming and thank you for answering the questions and any last tip from your side who for the people who are seeking the job yeah thanks to vasna like for the calling me for this podcast uh, as like a, a last minute thing i like to say like anybody who is looking for the jobs as of now and like uh, struggling to get the interviews and all i'll say trust the process so it's a part of the like, keep working on your skills keep applying and uh, keep following the right strategies like uh, build your resume right check on the ats score properly and um, also do highlight your achievement properly into it and once you get into interview like uh, don't miss the chance uh, give your best regardless of whether you want to join or not don't miss any interview opportunities because each interview will teach you something i'll say so don't miss an opportunity it's my thing all right then yeah thank you for my side for that thank you dipanchu